Hello, my friends. This is your happy Stamper Lady, Rachel Merkin, helping the creative you shine through. Well, we are in week four of July, and this is out of the box, which means paper pumpkin goodness. I'm super excited you have joined me today. Thank you for those of you who have subscribed on YouTube. I also would suggest you go to my Facebook page. So let's take a look here at my Facebook page. So on this page, I am definitely more interactive and I always post the pictures after my video so you get to see what all my different cards look like. So that's an advantage as well. So I would suggest you do both, go to Facebook and YouTube. This is my website. Now this is going to get ready to change August the 4th. Um, they're introducing, Step It Up is introducing a store. You're still shopping through me, but they're changing it around to make the shopping easier. I'm very excited because Stampin' Up! is always, always trying to do what's best for their customers. <laughs> Hello, my dear friends. Hello. So, as you can see with the paper pumpkin box. So, this is also the magic box. It just looks different. Um, uh, the Out of the box video is always paper pumpkin. And paper pumpkin comes right to your door. So... I hope that you check this video out, even if you don't have Paper Pumpkin yet, because I think you would love to enjoy getting this subscription. The beauty is as well that you can cancel at any time. So it's $22, that includes the shipping and the tax. It comes right to your doorstep every single month. And if you need to cancel and then you want to start back up, cancel, start back up, you totally can do that. I had a couple of friends who canceled and then for like a year and a half, went back, their uh, information was there, they signed back up super easy. The other nice thing about Paper Pumpkin is it's for everyone. So my nephew Julian has enjoyed it. He's 10. I have a friend who said, I asked her, I said, your Paper Pumpkin come in? She said, I think so, but my daughter ran off with it. <laughs> That is super great. You have people who just want to um, get a kit and they just want to stamp. They don't want to have to deal with what do I buy? What do I do? That is a perfect solution with Paper Pumpkin because it comes with all these instructions and just says, this is what you do. Follow the instructions. You can create. Look, it gives you step by step on every piece that you're doing. You can create beautiful things. And you have fun every single month. A creative box that comes to you. You also will they'll give you like add-on ideas, extra ideas, fun ideas. And if you look up Paper Pumpkin, there are lots of ideas out there. So for me, I give you ideas that go outside of the box, right? So I take what you're given from Paper Pumpkin and we create something new. So it works for me too, because I'm someone who doesn't follow the rules well. If you have watched any of my videos, you know I'm a little bit rebellious <laughs> with the Stampin' Rules. And so I like to create something and this works with my imagination too. I get these pieces and I'm like, oh, look how beautiful. Let's create something. So always the snips. Those don't come in the box. I just um, uh, added them because I use them and I use my glue. Now, Paper Pumpkin always includes everything you need. So they do actually have little tiny glue dots for you. So you literally could get this and create what they gave you in the box with no extras. And I only try to do maybe like paper extra usually. I try to use what they give me and maybe paper and a little bit of ink. I try not to go crazy with it so that if you were to say to me, Rachel, I got paper pumpkin. I really like what you did. What do I need? What you add extra is pretty small. They give you a dimensionals, which I love always having extra dimensionals, right? I throw a couple more extra dimensionals in there. They give you stamps okay these stamps this time are uber uber cute so very summer you know summer nights kind of thing so you're gonna get these are so beautiful you're gonna get eight pieces of this 
paper. Look at the detail. So if you caught any of my videos this last week for July Under the Sea, I showed you the add-on because um, they have an add-on available right now where you can get this paper but in full card form. So I'm going to reach over here to show you what I mean by that. So full card form means it actually is an actual full card and you get all the same colors but in full card. 24 cards, 24 envelopes, $10. And that is only going on, I believe, until July 31st. So if you want to take advantage of that, that's the way to go. Because what they included in this is they were sending it out like a postcard style. Super, super fun and super, super cute. So you get eight of those right? Super, super cute. I'm going to put this to the side. You get these jars. Look at these adorable vellum jars that you get. The thing I love about Paper Pumpkin too is there's always more than what you need to create your um, the ideas they have for you. You have a lot of extra. Look at these cute stars. You get the stars. You get eight bags. So their idea was that you could use these bags, decorate these cute bags, and make them you could put a little candle in them right your own like lumiere bags super super cute we're going to do something different with those bags today you always get a stamp pod you get a little spot uh blackberry bliss ah i know i didn't even do it it's included in the kit everybody's on the blackberry bliss band um, you get some twine, you get some twine in there, you get um, a nice, really nice envelopes to go along with your postcards to make your postcards. So we will, of course, decorate our envelopes today because, you know, I like to decorate my envelopes as well. OK, so um, you also then get and I have kind of pulled it apart. So I'm going to put this over to the side. Magic box. Empty. OK, and we. There's all kinds of punch outs. So look at this adorable, like you're going to um, the amusement park. This reminded me of my daughter. I was showing her my pieces, and I love that. We're Scooby-Doo fans in this house. And this reminded us of the Scooby-Doo episode where they go to the amusement park with Charlie the Robot, <laughs> if you're Scooby-Doo fans. So you get a bunch of those. You get um, three different tags. I'm going to put them out so you can see the tags. Let's see if I can do that. Actually, let's do the tags on the color. You might be able to see it better. I'm just going to move the happy stamp artist for just one moment oh yes much better you can see those better so look at these three beautiful tags so you get a ton of tags way more than what you need to make your cards with uh you got i think six because i already used one one yeah you get several of those then you have all these punch outs i already punched it out because i you don't want to watch me punch out look at these adorable lanterns i and i have a pile of them over here i just pull in from my lanterns so you could see them are you kidding me look how cute those lanterns are so you get like a ton of lanterns you get a ton of these little stars all pop out all ready to go and then you get a ton of these lightning bugs so the debate is do you call them fireflies or lightning bugs um i have seen people talk about it where maybe it's uh like where you live like they call it something different by where you live i don't know i don't know if that's true i was just asking what people call them I call them lightning bugs, I think, most of the time, but I was asking my daughter, and she calls them fireflies, and we live in the same house, and we're both from Ohio, so I don't, I didn't answer my debate there, did I? So, okay, here we go. So, got my handy-dandy Stamparatus. Now, that is not included. Now, when you sign up for Paper Pumpkin, you will get a block in your kit. I have two blocks here to use as well. So when I say that Paper Pumpkin comes and everything's included, everything really is included that you could get that kit, open it up, follow the instructions, and make absolutely everything in the instructions. That's the beauty. $22. Really cannot beat that. Really cannot beat that. Okay. We're going to be making three different cards today. You see up on my notebook, I have all the instructions for you. We're going to start with card number one. And I'm going to pull out the pieces. So the card base you have 
is 11 inches, okay, 11 inches this way, four and a fourth inches this way, scored at five and a half. So if you go to my So Now What um, cardstock, I talk about the two different ways to cut cardstock that you can make card bases all the time. Now, there are other times when you will be following me and I will make it differently. I will do something different. Then I will have instructions for that too. But these are your basic card bases. So if you ever get confused, you can go to that. Then this is the pre-cut that they have already done for you. But if you were making something along with me and you didn't have this kit, it, it the card front is five and a fourth by four inches. And they have done a corner round. So super, super simple on that. Okay, so we've got that going on. And then we're going to use one of those super adorable jars. Can you even stand it? That jar is so stinking cute. And then we're going to use the bag in a different way. So I'm using, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> my, <coughs> so sorry. My allergies have still been horrible. I rarely say my allergies are horrible in July. Oh my goodness, I've been a disaster. I was actually sick to my stomach this week as well. So not uh, it's not been my time for sickness. But you know what? Praise God, I just keep moving forward. And crafts are like a really good place for me to kind of uh, help myself to come back to like a calm place. So yeah, it's being sick is no fun. I but I have certainly struggled more than I have in other years for certain. Okay, so got a whole bunch of little punch outs going, and I'm using these two of the um tags, and then I'm gonna use the bag in a whole different way. Of course I am. So I showed you the bag as is, I showed you the bag as it comes as a bag, and then I cut the front off and I cut the back off, and we're going to do some stamping with the bag. So the only other two dimensions you need are strips that are four inches by one and a half. Those are gonna go on the inside. Those are not a half to, they're done in Blackberry Bliss, just something extra. So let's talk about what we can create. Okay, so you have this um, firework, I'm going to call it. I mean, I think that's what it looks like as a firework. And I am going to take that firework and do something entirely different with it. Now, I'm going to give the credit for the firework idea turning into a flower to my friend, the Stamping Ninja. I found her on Facebook. She had done an alternative to um, the firework, and I was like, oh, you're brilliant, Stamping Ninja. Isn't that name fun, Stamping Ninja, the Stamping Ninja? Okay, so what you do is the firework, if you were going to stamp it as a firework, you feel the fireworky part, and that's what you'd stamp with. You flip it so that you are actually stamping the, the blank side, okay? That sounds weird, I know, but if you go ahead and you stamp that down, you get this design. You get this, like, back design, okay? This color, by the way, is Highland Heather. So, Blackberry Bliss came with the kit this time. I added Night of Navy, Highland Heather, and Coastal Cabana. I thought that those colors were brilliant together. So, I did a couple of flowers, and I'm doing it on the back of the bag. So I'm not even using extra paper right now. I'm literally using every part of the kit. You know I like to do that. I like to use up every part of the kit that I possibly can. I'm going to do Highland Heather on some, and then I'm going to go, and I'm going to do that same thing over here with the bottom, and I'm going to do it in Coastal Cabana. And I did three on each bag that I did to make my flowers. So you could do them all in one color. You could switch out your colors. That's totally up to you. Totally up to you. Okay. 
So once I did that, then I turned it back around. And this is where your friend, the Stamparatus, comes in. And I need you need your magnet, right? And all I did was I then I turned it around to the firework part because I want the firework part to stamp. And if you put it down in there and you see that I'm doing that, the firework will match up with all those little squidgies, with all the little like designs on the outside. Super, super brilliant. And you take your Stamparatus, then I'm using Blackberry Bliss inside the Highland Heather and Night of Navy inside the Coastal Cabana. I just thought the colors were very, very complementary to one another. And I stamp down inside and what you created is a flower. Are you kidding? Way to go, Stamp the Stamping Ninja. You're brilliant. You did a great job with that. And they were so, so cute. So I'm not going to do all of those because we have three cards to get through. So you want me to <laughs> move on. So what I did with that, then you end up, I cut them out and you end up with these cute flowers. Super, super simple. The other thing I did with the firework that I'll show you, and then we're going to put the card together, is that I cut, I took this bag piece that looks like a firework, and I literally stamped all around that firework. And then I cut that firework piece out. Isn't that fun? Just very, very simple. Just kind of took the pieces that you already have, but you're reimagining them. And you say to me, Rachel, that's tough for me. I don't do that well. That's okay. Come and watch my videos with me and I'll reimagine them for you. <laughs> I will help you to reimagine. So this is what we end up with. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So we're going to go ahead and stamp inside. Why? Because once we put stuff on the outside, it's harder to come back from that. It's harder to um, stamp when you've got things sticking up, when you've got dimension on there. So let's go ahead and start. There is no right or wrong with the fireworks, by the way. It's whatever catches your attention, whatever you decided you wanted to do. These fireworks are quite beautiful. I think they are beautiful. So we're going to go back. We're going to pull in some Highland Heather because that is so lovely. I enjoy the Highland Heather on there. And we'll do some fireworks like that. Got that going on. Let's pull in some Coastal Cabana. Right? Let's get some Coastal Cabana going on. Oh, and all of a sudden you're feeling like, hello, happy fireworks. So, um, I just, this is a super, super happy set to me. I just think this is like really, really happy. Just like a super fun set. Okay. Now we need our, um, Stamparatus once again for our words. So I, so the idea behind um, the paper pumpkin this time is that you could actually send um, like postcards, like invites. So they've got like you're invited, it's a party, that kind of thing, um, which is very cute. I thought the idea was super, super cute. But I am going to take it and use just some of the really cute words, and we're just going to make cute cards out of them. So the wording on this says, oh, the summer nights are all alight with everything magic and bright. Is that not the funnest? And look at the, um, the font on that. Is that not magical? That is a little bit magical. Okay, we're going to clean that off, and then we're going to do our... Stamp around us again, and we're going to do another word that says, um, super, super cute. It says, you light up my life. I love these words. I just think that they are so, so cute. So this reminds me of, um, oh, I just, oh, Debbie Boone. Okay, now I am totally aging myself, although you already know I'm 50, so it doesn't matter. But um, I, and I remember singing this song all the time. You, light of my life. Do you remember that song? 
I remember that song. Okay, so there we go. We've got our words going on and we have stamped. Now, while we have this and we've got our, um, we've got our little uh, 4th of July sparklers, why not add some sparkle, right? Like little firecrackers to our piece. Isn't that fun? I mean, this is all, so once you start doing this, this is all add-on. You know how that goes with me. Everything is an add-on. Everything is like, well, you can do this, or you could leave it like that, or you could do whatever. There's no, there's no right or wrong. This is just like the fun part of like, oh, look what I could do with that. So inside, before we do the outside, you know I like to do that. I told you I had these um, like pieces that you could add on, and that's just, we're just gonna add those strips on. So I just thought that they were really cute to put the pieces down, and I'm using glue. You know I always use glue. You know, I use tape runners for a long time and I, you know, I send cards to people and then all of a sudden I felt like my cards are not um, staying together. Um, and the kids would make that comment, you know, they would get cards or they would keep my cards and I would send them. And then all of a sudden your cards aren't staying together. Well, you don't want that. You don't want your cards not staying together. That's not enjoyable. So I'm going to do opposites here on the piece and then I just kind of added like little lightning bugs and stars just whatever whatever catches your fancy you know whatever catches your fancy you could add so this is what it ended up looking like inside right so you added there's a little lightning bug stamp there's a little pieces so there you go that's what you've got going on inside okay and the outside equally equally easy so you have this beautiful piece right you have the piece it, it comes that way hello stampin up magical now i am going to pop this up on dimensionals because i thought that was super fun to do it that way and then after we get all of our lovely dimensionals on there and yes i'm using a lot of them I think I've had that discussion before. I think after a while, I'm just like, why am I hoarding my dimensionals? Like use them, that's what they're there for. And you want your stuff to stay. You want your stuff to stick. So use your dimensionals and order some more. <laughs> use the dimensionals and order more dimensionals, right? So good gravy that little guy is sticking on there that dimensional is feeling super unfriendly we're just gonna get rid of that dimensional he was like i don't want to unstick from anything okay and so we've got all uh, you gotta take all the little backings off that's the only thing with dimensionals but you know whatever it doesn't take like a lifetime you're fine you're fine it will be you will be fine to remove them so then we're going to stick this down. Why? Because I'm not stamping on this actual piece. So that's the beauty of that. We're not actually stamping on that piece of paper. So there's the beauty of that. Then with this little guy, you're going to use all of those glue dots to stick it down, right? Um, it doesn't take a ton. You can kind of put them. I don't put them all the way on the bottom, if you notice, because some of the jar is going to get cut off. <clears throat> so I'm going to actually cut off part of that jar. So it doesn't take a lot because you're going to be sticking stuff around it, too. So once you do that, and I'm actually going to go ahead and cut off the bottom of my jar. Um, I didn't. I didn't find a use for the bottom of my jar yet. I don't know. I might be able to. You know I don't like to waste anything. 
you know, I'm like, mm, I'm sure we can find something. But then it, see how it like goes on the bottom. So, so cute. Now, before we stick that down, this guy is your like prominent gets stuck down. And it wasn't hard to glue. You just glue around the white pieces. And that's what I love about the glue is that it goes, um, you know, it doesn't come out like super heavy. If you learn how to use it, it's not heavy handed and it just goes around all of the little white pieces so that it can stick down. Super, super simple. Okay, and so I'm gonna stick that right toward the top, just like that. Okay, pat, 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 get that sitting down. And then I'm just removing the backing from those little glue dots. Um, I love the glue dots for vellum. I don't use them very often, but I find that on anything vellum, they don't show up. And that's a goal for you because you don't want stuff showing through the vellum unless you did it on purpose, like unless you wanted something to show. I don't want my dots to show, okay? And then look, now this is down in the um, jar and I've got all this cute stuff going on with the jar. Isn't that super fun? And then it's just play. So all I did was add my um, tag and I stamped lightning bugs on it. I added more lightning bugs and I popped up my flowers. Now you're like, what is that in the middle? Guess what I did? I literally cut one of my lanterns. I cut the top part of the lantern off, right? get it around there and I made it the center of my flowers. Are you kidding me? Isn't that super, super fun? So there you go. That's card number one. That's what you come up with when we put everything together. Are you not loving that? I think that's kind of magical. Summer nights are all alight with everything magic and bright. Okay, let's go on to card number two. So, card number two, we'll move that out of the way. You start with the card base the other direction. Okay, so what does that mean? So that means your card opens like this, okay? So it is eight and a half this way, five and a half this way, scored at four and a fourth. Now, again, if you go to my So Now What cardstock, I give you all those dimensions. Very, very simple, all right? And this one, we are reimagining that piece of cardstock completely. So we're taking this piece of DSP and we are cutting it up into strips. So you have a card front piece that looks like this. Okay, this card front piece is four and a half by four, excuse me, by four inches. I apologize, four and a half by four inches. Okay, and then before we do that, we're going to do some stamping as well. So I'm going to show you what the card looks like. <laughs> I am loving these cards. So again, we have stamped inside, right, with our fireworks. We've stamped inside with our fireworks and our lightning bugs, and then we simply added some super, super fun pieces, okay? And then what do we do for our outside? So let's talk about that real quick. So we took this piece of paper here, all right. And we took some white paper. So we took some white paper like this and we cut it down into strips. So you're going to have three strips at two <clears throat> and nine sixteenths by one and three sixteenths. OK, you're going to have three of those. And then you're going to have three of those pieces. You're going to have three of these pieces. My bad. I need the white one. You have three of those pieces at one and five sixteenths by one and three sixteenths. Okay, so that's what you've got going on under here. Three of each. And then you've got your DSP the same way. So you have three strips of this DSP, right? 
and it is cut at two and a half by one and an eighth. And then you have three pieces of this DSP, right? And it is cut at one and a fourth by one and an eighth. Super, super simple, okay? And then all I did on the DSP, and this is very, very easy, is I took these little pieces of DSP and I took my fireworks, right? And I stamped fireworks on everything. I stamped fireworks everywhere, okay? But I also came back with my stamps and I stamped the lantern, which I thought was super, super fun pieces of the lantern got stamped see how the lantern is stamped and i stamped little lightning bugs this little lightning bug is really the cutest ever and i stamped little lightning bugs everywhere right super super simple okay so that's what you've got going on there in this uh in this design okay and all i did was attach the dsp to the white paper okay because it is barely um yeah you barely see the white paper but it did make a difference when you were putting it on here and then all i did was attach the two pieces so i took this and i added it and then i attached them to my blackberry bliss like that see how simple that is and then i flipped it and attached long short and long short i like i went opposite two shorts this way long two longs this way short does that make sense and then i just added pieces on top so made it super simple i did do some um fireworks underneath because i thought that that turned out really really beautiful as well and inside this is just a leftover strip I have, but I liked how the lanterns went along the strip. And then you can see the fireworks and the lightning bugs. Isn't that super, super fun? So you have the strips up there. That's not going to go away. And the beauty of having the videos is that you can specifically get all your pieces down. The other nice thing is, is that once you do this, um, you could do this with all kinds of DSP. Like the Whaley Whaley DSP I just did would be beautiful with this. But when I'm sitting it down, all I did was sit the first area down with the glue, okay? And then it was so much easier to go back and do the other pieces. And then I propped this up with dimensionals. And then adding um, pieces like this, just it actually just depended on what I wanted to cover up. Like, of course, I don't want to cover that lightning bug up, so maybe I would set the lantern like that. I was just fun. I just kind of went through and had fun with what I wanted to add on to each of those pieces. So again, this is taking DSP, right? This is taking your DSP and creating your own DSP. Like it already has this on there, right? It already has that beautiful color on there, but now you're coming along and you're creating something else with that beautiful DSP. And don't you love it? I think it's so, so cute so so cute so then this gives you ideas that it's the like the panel it's really like the panel painting cards i've done but then i cut the panels even smaller so instead of three panels i made six and cut them in different sizes i just thought that turned out super super cute right and you've got all of the dimensions there to be able to do that with your cards so so simple okay card number three Okay, with card number three, <clears throat> we're going back to the double Dutch door card. Are you ready? Super simple again. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with that cuteness? Okay, so let's remind ourselves of what the double Dutch door card actually looks like. So you have, you start with, right a piece of eight and a half 
by four to four. So this kind of turns your dimensions on its ear. So this is one that I'm talking about that you, it's specific for this card. This is not your average card that you're doing. This one is eight and a half by four and a four scored at five and a half, which leaves you this opening, okay? Which then brings about your door, okay? And your door, and you see on there is eight and a half by two and a half scored on both sides at two and one eighth, okay? And once you do that, <clears throat> you've got this super, super cute fold, super, super cute fold. Then <clears throat> you have some card pieces here, right? that you're gonna put in on your card. So what are those pieces? So the front panel is the Blackberry Bliss panel, and it is at four inches by two and three fourths inches, okay? And that covers this top panel. That's what you got going on there. Then you have two pieces for your door, two pieces for your door panel, at two and a fourth by two inches and two pieces of the DSP, that's what this is, those pieces on your door are two inches by one and three fourths inches, okay? I did not do door panels inside this time. I thought that the fireworks on the inside with the lightning bugs was really, really cute. And so when I say inside, you have a panel here that's four inches by two and a fourth inches, and it literally covers your bottom door. And I have a four inch by one and a half inch, okay? Those are your pieces, and then you have your three squares, okay? So we go back to the squares. Your squares are three by three inches, two and three fourths by two and three fourths inches, and your DSP is two and a half inches by two and a half inches. And those squares obviously go together, and I make them into a diamond. Super, super simple, right? So if we were to attach our pieces that we've got going on, okay? So this piece were to go inside, right? Sorry. You got a piece that goes inside, right? And this time we stamped on this, but this is where we added this super adorable piece. Isn't that so, so cute in there? So we added that piece, right? Got that going on. Okay. So cute this is. So, so cute. And we've got this piece going on up here. Okay. And so then you see what I mean when you're putting your pieces together. Right? You see what I mean when you're putting a piece together? Oh, I didn't get enough glue on there. Don't want our little happy place. Okay? And that's what you're doing there. And then you're decorating. Okay? Right? You've got your pieces. You've got another tag. So you did the You Light Up My Life. Now, on the Blackberry Bliss, it's kind of hard I'm trying to see if you can even see it on the camera. Not really. I did I did stamp the um, firework on the Blackberry Bliss. When you're looking at it in person, like when I'm looking at it, I can see it. Just extra detail. It's just extra detail, not something that you have to do. But it just gives you extra detail there. And so then the same thing goes with um, the pieces that you've got going on. Sorry, I got all my, all my pieces are over here. So the same thing goes with your square, super simple. I'm just gonna show you how to put your square together. Um, I, I know I just did this one. I'm like, I'm aware that I just did this one, but I really honestly just fell in love with this um, double Dutch door fold. I just thought it was really, really cute. So I just was like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do that again. We're gonna do something super fun with that and like enjoy the beauty of that. 
So we've got that going on and then just stamping some, you know, some fireworks all over so that you can add your cute little lightning bugs, right? So that's basically all you did with the square and then you make it a diamond. Okay, so then you come back here and you have created. Now I did, I just glued that down, but I actually did dimensionals on this one. So you could do it either way. So you got it where you're laying it like that. And then you're just adding, you're just adding your layers together. Isn't that super, super cute? I absolutely adore this card, this double dutch fold. And if you go back in the July under the sea, it looks vastly different. And that's what I love about the different folds that you can do. So, you know, you've got basic cards, right? Let's pull these out so you can see them all. You've got basic card fronts, right? This one's your eight and a half by five and a half squared or four and a fourth but it looks vastly different. We've done the panel technique before, but now we've cut it, literally cut that panel again, cut that piece off, and suddenly you've got a whole different looking card, right? And you use everything from the kit. So the only thing that I added to this was the white paper and the Blackberry Bliss and a few inks. That's all. Everything else comes in the kit, your lanterns, your lightning bugs, your firework stamps, that beautiful paper is all in the kit. And that's what I love about Stampin' Up! is one, that everything coordinates and goes so well together. And two, how you can take something and use it in different ways. So this one, remember from the Stampin' Ninja came up with it, you could turn it into a flower. So you're literally taking the, the um, firework stamp and turning it backwards, remember, and doing a full color, and then you're turning it back around and doing this. And then this is the lantern. Remember how I cut the lantern piece? So I cut, literally cut the piece off of the lantern and made it my center. Hello, and the cute little jar, and the cute little piece, remember this piece? This is the bag. This is the bag. So we use the bag piece and we stamped on it and cut it and we made a gigantic flower. So it's reimagining what you already have and creating something just a little bit different, just going a little bit different with it, right? And then you got the beauty of this is, look at those beautiful fireworks in there. Isn't that so pretty? And the lightning bugs are just the cutest. So then it's stamping to your heart's desire. It's just like whatever catches your eye, whatever uh, makes you go, yeah, I love that. I love that. So then you have those and then we come back to the double dutch door full, but we've reimagined it once again with our paper and we've stamped on our DSP. So that's something that I find that I've been doing a little bit differently is taking DSP that already has the beautiful look of it, right? You already have this gorgeous, gorgeous paper and then just adding to that paper, stamping on that paper and creating something so, so beautiful and putting it together, right? So these are your two door pieces that you put together that are on the bottom of card number three, right? You've got your inside pieces, you've got your outside piece, and you've got your squares that I showed you how to put together. And you're going to do a double dutch door fold, but you're going to reimagine it again with this beautiful paper pumpkin kit with the lightning bugs and the fire fireworks. Isn't that super, super fun? Okay. So let's go to the front screen. I hope that you enjoy reimagining. Now, if you don't and you get your paper pumpkin kit and you just want to um, take the kit and use the instructions and create along with me, that makes me happy too. I love that to give you options. That's all I'm doing is just giving you some options 
for different ways that you can reimagine re your paper pumpkin kit. So I hope that you've enjoyed that. And I hope that you've enjoyed all of July. You go back and check out all of the under the sea uh, videos. There were several again. I just get so excited. And I hope that you will comment and show me pictures of what you're creating because I love that too. That makes me super, super happy. Okay. And so next week already will be in August. I, ca I can't believe it. We will be celebrating. 25 years for our anniversary this year 25 years that's pretty um that's pretty monumental I think um and so get ready um this week during the week I uh, go to Facebook and I'm going to post pictures of the theme that we're going to have for August so I'm super super excited to show you the theme and get you started on that as well okay so my friends until I see you again get my thing ready go make the world a better place right go and just think of other people put other people before ourselves find ways to share love to share light and laughter with the world around us and until i see you next week for august already we're already in august i bid you adieu